algebraic expressions. That's what we're going to learn today. All about algebraic expressions. My name is Jason Jacobs. We're going to be doing 3-4 practicing problem solving for Envision, sixth grade math. Here we go. All right, 35 divided by a number r. Write an algebraic expression for that. So 35 divided by r. That's what we're going to write. 35 divided by the variable r for this term right here. Terms are separated by addition and subtraction. We're going to figure that out in just a second. Write an algebraic expression for the situation 13 and 6 sevenths less than the product of 8 and a number C. All right, guys, this is really important here. I'm glad this one came up. You see that less than? That means subtraction, but it means you're subtracting this. Really important. They put this on all the tests, guys. So this minus 13 and 6 sevenths will go at the very end. That's what the less than part means. Product means multiply. Quotient is the answer to division problem. And um, sum is the answer to an addition problem. And difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. Product multiply. 8 times C. 8C. This is really important. Listen to, listen to me, guys. C is the variable. And this means 8 times C. The 8 right next to the variable, a number right next to the variable, that means the 8 is called a coefficient. Say that word, coefficient, coefficient. 8 times C. 8 is the coefficient, C is the variable. Mr. Jacobs, why are you repeating this so much? Well, because it's really important. It's part of the standards for the United States um, Common Core Standards. you got to know coefficient, you got to know variable to be math literate. So now we're going to subtract the 13 and 6 sevenths. Oh, let's get rid of that. All right, guys, really important here. Terms are separated by addition and subtraction. How many terms are there? Well, this is a term, and 4 times 3 is a term. It's separated by addition or subtraction. This has two terms. Terms are separated by addition or subtraction, okay? You can take shortcuts by knowing that when doing the order of operations. How many terms do we have? I guess I should write it out. Um, let me show you. This is a term. This is a term. And that's a term. Okay? So you can solve what's in here, what's in here, and what's in here. And, like, if I were doing the order of operations, guys, as someone who knows math, I would do this and skip steps like that. And then I would do that because first come, first serve with subtraction and addition. I would do that one first. So that's an example of how when you know terms, you can skip steps with your order of operations. That, that one had three terms because terms are separated by addition and subtraction. The part of the expression that represents the quotient, quotient, answer to a division problem, is 10 minus, 10 divided by, 10 divided by 2. A fraction is just a division problem there. In this quotient, 10 is the dividend and 2 is the divisor. The dividend is the number being divided and the divisor is doing the dividing. The part of the expression that represents the product of two factors, product, multiply. Well, here you can see the coefficient and the variable. That's the product of two factors right there. In this product, <laughs> variable coefficient, every test, they're going to have it. Really know that the coefficient is 6.7 and the variable is V. So V is the variable. Variable is a letter or symbol that represents an unknown number. And the coefficient is multiplied next to the variables, the number next to the variable. In this case, the 6.7, that's a rational number. Q 
quotient. Which part of the expression that represents a quotient right here? Okay, this is the sum of, wait, this is three terms. I, I was going to say sum, but we're subtracting here. So one term, two terms, three terms. Terms are separated by addition or subtraction. 40 divided by 8, um, fractions or division problems, basically. 40 is the dividend. The numerator is the dividend. What, look up that Schoolhouse Rock video. That's a really good one. Um, the numerator becomes the dividend. Dun, 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 dun. The numerator becomes the dividend. We're going to have to look that up. Schoolhouse Rock, um, what's that called? Fractions to decimals. The part of the expression that represents a product of two factors. Right there, 7.6 times V. 7.6 is the coefficient, V is the variable. Oh, wouldn't you know it? Like clockwork. You're going to be asked this question a lot, guys. Put this in your memory. Shows up on all the tests. I put it on all the tests. All right. This right here, guys. That 7 next to the parentheses, that means multiply. So here, this whole thing is a term. This whole thing is a term. And this constant, this is called a constant right here. Just, just the number is a constant. All right? This is two terms, the sum of two terms. The variable is t. The difference is 6 minus 1. The product, okay, this is the 7 times this, 6 minus 1. A lot of students don't know that this next to the parentheses means multiply, okay? Now you do. The constant is just the, the number without a variable or anything else next to it. A float in a parade may use as many flowers as a floor sells in seven years. If F, see how you can get confused and not see that, is the number of flowers a floor sells in one year, write an algebraic expression to represent the number of flowers a float in the parade may use. So seven years times F. Seven is the coefficient. F is the variable, 7F. Elena walked R retrievers and B bulldogs on Monday. Those are the variables we're going to use. She walked, they're unknown. She walked the same number of retrievers and bulldogs each Tuesday through Friday. Write an algebraic expression to represent how many total dogs she walked in this five-day period. Okay, so 5 times r plus 5 times b. 5 times the golden retrievers plus 5 times the bulldogs. Some students equally share 4 baskets of bananas. Each basket has 16 bananas. So 64 total. Write an algebraic expression to represent this situation. Then explain how you chose which variable in operation to use. So let S represent the number of students. An expression that represents the situation is. So first we have to do 4 times 16. And then we have to divide it by. The variable s. Oh gosh, what's all this? <laughs> Don't you love these type of problems, guys? 
Explain how you chose which variable and operation to use. The letter S is used because students begins with S. Okay, that makes sense. The word share represents a dish. The word, the word share means actually division. The word share and equally represent division. Yep. Add to find the total number of bananas. No, we don't add. We multiply. The letter S is used to represent students. The word share and equally represent division. That's true. Multiply to find. That's kind of fun. At first it was like a little intimidating, but when you just like read through it and use process of elimination, it's not so bad. Hey, look, here's a square with four equal sides. S, 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 and S. This is good. Guys, I like this problem. You might have a pentagon or a hexagon, or I've seen an octagon. A regular one, a regular polygon means all the sides are the same, okay? So this could be S plus S plus S plus S. Now, this is really important, guys. S plus S plus S plus S is equal to 4S, okay? Really get that. Really get that. Let me show you some more of this. X plus X plus X equals 3x. So make sure you understand this concept. This is on every test. I usually put this on a lot of tests. So in quizzes. So definitely make sure you, you know that. Let's just do this. x plus x plus 2 plus 3. This becomes 2x plus 5 when we put it together. Isn't that cool? Combine like terms. And we're almost done. Okay. Which phrase could be best represented by the algebraic expression w over 3 minus 7? Here's the difference of two terms. This is a term and this is a term. w divided by 3 minus 7. 7 less than the quotient of w divided by 3. Yep, that is it. Because the 7 less than means it goes on the back end. Now, a lot of students put 7 minus, which is wrong. Don't do that. All right, guys. This was Algebraic Expressions. Hope you got a lot out of it. On 3-4, practice and problem solving math XL for Envision 6th grade math, Envision 2.0. My name is Jason Jacobs. Hope you like this video. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.